Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's game time. We're about to get right into this and we're going to talk about a subject that is a hard one to kind of explain. So if I lose you, leave a comment and let me know if it was clear enough for you. Let me know if it helps at all. Uh, but we're going to be talking about morale. So that's going to be a, an interesting subject. So what I found about this game is that it's really based around morale. Uh, there's about three elements. One is territory takeover, two is size of army, and then the other one is politics and morale. So they kind of go hand in hand. Um, we're going to, okay, so as we get into that concept here, now you see some of my cities here, they're on fire. I just took them, I just took this whole area, so some of them are, not, are very unhappy. So this one's like 32%. This one is 34%, but see, that one's not on fire anymore. No Am I safe to move that troop? I wouldn't do it. So I only moved my troops off a city. So right down here, this morale is 32%. It has to be 36% for me to feel comfortable to move it. Because if you look at the description, it says... 35% and under, you are taking a chance of your city getting taken over by insurgent, by rogue state. Now, rogue state, this is this dude right here. It's an AI, an artificial intelligent player of the game. It's just part of the it's just part of the game. It's not an actual player. Um, so they pop up uh, pretty much to piss everybody off. Um and they go against everybody, not just you. So if I click on Rogue State, it's at war with everybody. If you look at it, it says at war with Romania, Kakistan, New Zealand, uh, and, and it just goes on and on and on. As you take players out and you kill them and you get them off your war list because you've taken every little piece of providence they had... It'll leave your war list, but it also leaves their war list. So as you break down the world, it breaks it down for them. So you're helping them out. Um, okay, let's look at where you start. Now, it was India, so I started with India. Now, India has on your capital, your headquarters, you have a underground bunker. Now, right here, it says underground bunker. You get a 5% to morale performance okay that means you automatically start with happy morale uh boost for that okay and then your headquarters right there morale performance plus 25 percent that's a big one so that's pretty good now then you got military hospital okay now, this acts a little bit different. This also helps with morale, but in a different way. So, level 2, it says it does plus 30% to population growth rate. The population growth rate. So, your morale, and right down here at the bottom right, you can see that there's an 8.2, and then you got the trophy sign and a 10.3. So the 8.2 is your population. Population affects a lot. Population affects morale. It affects resources. So if your population goes up, you're going to make more resources. So if your population is low, you'll make less resources. You just look at the 8.2 and just think of that. You could just say like each percent is 10,000 civilians. So if it's an 8.2, you're looking at... 80,000 people in this city. Um, if you guys look around your city, look at the population of your town. Uh, that's not a far off concept to think about. So, yeah. If you look at this one, 7.2. I'm looking at about 70,000 people in this as, you know, as an example. So, in the higher your population... The higher the working force, the higher the resources. And then if your civilians are happy, the higher the morale. So both 
those three things are big on boosting morale. So you got the underground bunker, that's an instant boost to morale. Your headquarters, instant boost to morale, instant. Now your military hospital, it's a boost to morale, but it's based over a time period. So every day your population will go up a little bit and then your morale will go up a little bit and then your resources will go up a little bit. So it takes time for this one to grow. It's more of a long period, uh, a long period type thing, but it works out well. Okay. And then uh, based on your city, so this one's at 95 happiness. This one's at 71. Uh, that affects your providence. So this one's at 72. This one over here is 76. Uh, it got higher as we got closer to the the 100%. So it does a ripple effect. The happiest building will start rippling to its neighbors to make them happy. And then from their neighbors to the other neighbors. And it just kind of keeps going farther and farther out. If you If that makes sense. Um, okay, so based on your cities, those are the ones that boost morale. Now, if you're going to Providence, and this works out good, so if I go over here, oh, we're about to click over. So, uh, we got one in game minute. So, when you get those 35s, this is a 34, 34, 35. Okay, so as the day clicks over, every day it heals. So, when you take a city, if your morale is decent, it'll take you about two in-game days for your city to fully heal. Okay, so now we just clicked on that 35. When I click on it again, it's a 37. Okay, now let's click on this. That's a 36. Now that was a 34. This one is a 35. Okay, so now what am I going to do? I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to select. I'm going to grab him. And I'm going to send him to this airfield so I can fly him out. I will not touch this guy. I will not remove him until I get a 36%. Remember, 35 and under, I'm taking a chance of an insurgent taking it over. And insurgents come in between one to two times a day. I've seen them come in twice a day. When you go to the pages, it says that they strike once a day. But I've seen them come in one, uh, twice a day. Uh, I've even seen them come in multiple times within a day. Um, but more accurate, I see them come in about twice a day. Um, and if I, if I have that empty, that could be one of the random cities to get one. And all of a sudden, all that time of sitting a guy on it is just wasted. So I'm just going to wait one more day. That will go above 35, and I'll be happy to move him. See, what's he at? He's at 35. I'll leave him. This guy, up oh, 34. You're definitely staying. These ones are still on fire. That means they're going to be low still. 31. Uh, this one's a 35. Let's see. You. 35. Oh, here's an example. Okay, so I'm building. I'm just building the military hospital here. So when I click on the little icon. So here's your normal. Um. Morale, okay, so morale trends is rising. So that means we're, we're, we're going up. We're not standing still. We're not going down. The morale around us is growing. That means it's going up, and that's great. You want that. Um, neighbors, uh, negative three. That's actually not bad at all. So negative three around my neighbors, that means my neighbors are getting out of the slums and getting into the happy. Like, they're not doing bad. Um Number of wars. This this is a little different. So number of wars is how many people you're at war with. Right now, each person you're at war with is a negative two. So if I am at a negative 14, that means I'm at war with seven people. Okay, so I'm at war with seven people. So I'm getting a negative 14 because each person is a negative two. Um, civilian casualties. Uh, that, when we talked about civilians uh, living in the city, when we talked about the 8.2 and having about 80,000 people that live in that city, um, imagine 
you don't have anyone protecting your city and a random jet comes by and starts shooting missiles and kills some residential buildings. Okay, so you're going to have civilian casualties, right? So that's the idea. When you're bombing a city, this guy has a military guy on it, but there's a, there's a population on the city that you don't see. And that's where it's based. So if I attack this city that I just highlighted with a ship or a nuke, it's just going to do nothing but kill the population so that it's at 8.2 now. It would probably drop it down if I hit it with the nuke to about a 5.3, which means I would have killed about 30,000 people. Okay? And then that means resources would go down. I would lose out on those resources. I would... The morale would definitely be hurt, and they would be upset and angry. Um, but then the the population will definitely be damaged and hurt a lot. Uh, so we'll go back to this one real quick. Okay, so as we go down, now it says right here. Now I told you that the military hospitals are based of an over time a population growth, and then that can affect your population. So which then helps grow your uh, resources and your morale. So right here, because of this building, we are getting a bonus from local buildings, a 20%, plus 20%. So that's, that's great. That's what that military hospital is doing for us. It's giving us a percentage down here. So that's a percentage towards population growth, okay? But then, uh, right down here at the very bottom, I am also going to be getting, if I have troops sitting here, they'll heal faster. As long as they're sitting on this city, they'll, they'll get an extra healing point per day. But, yeah, so that, I don't have any bonuses here, but I'm going to show you what the underground bunkers do. So this one right here has an underground bunker, but it does not have the military hospital. So we're going to click that. Now see, now it's up here on top. So this is just the category of strictly morale, okay? The other one was based on population. This one is just in morale because the underground bunkers just gives you an instant boost to morale the moment it's built. So um, neighbors, we're one point higher because we have more neighbors, but they're still doing good. Still at war with seven people because each person I'm at war with is a negative two and I'm at 14, okay? But the buildings, just that underground bunker, is giving us a plus five to morale. Just for having that in the city, we're getting a bonus that's kind of canceling out five of whatever. Because that all adds up. So I got four plus 14, that's 18 plus seven, that's 25. So I'm doing about 20, negative 25 of morale percentage. Now... If you take the buildings, that's plus 5. So instead of negative 25, in all actuality, I'm getting a negative 20. So it helps. Uh, I can upgrade that building. I would get a better boost uh, if you upgrade it. Uh, see down here? Population. Um, the local morale, because of what's unhappy, like my neighbors, how it's negative 4, What's unhappy, I'm getting a negative 20%, okay? But I'm also getting um, effects on the city. I'm not getting much of effects on the city because if you look down here, I got a defense bonus plus 50% from having an underground bunker. So, yeah, there's this whole game is based on numbers. Uh, it can be quite confusing, but these type of numbers, this is kind of how you got to read them. Uh, and then once you know how to read them, then you know how to fix them. So I can actually come in here. That is a five. I can always just upgrade it again. And if I upgrade it again, see if I took it to a level three, that'd be an, another 10%. So um, actually, no, it says right here, uh, it'll be another 20%. So it just keeps going up. Every time you go up, it boosted another 10 to 20%. Um, which from here is going to affect its neighbors, these neighbors. And then these neighbors will affect its neighbors. And all of a sudden, it's, it's a ripple effect. Everything from the middle 
is going to start healing and it's going to spread like the plague and everything else is going to start getting happy again. Okay. So if you want to see morale, now since I just took that, we're going to turn on display morale. So this is a lot of, there's some, it was a lot more red earlier. It's just a lot more orange. Things are cooling down a little bit. Now this will change every single time the day clicks over. So it won't change again until it's day 36 now. It won't change again until day 37. And then morale will change. And then some of these buildings will go off fire and I'll be able to move troops. And that's kind of the idea of that. Um, okay, so we go back and take this off. And I will show you what we can put on the Providence to help with those type of growth. So if I click on the Providence, now see the Providence here, the morale is a 41%. That's not bad. Um, but if you go to build, now you see the com combat outpost. This right here, even though it has little benefits or whatever, the one on the very far right, it says morale performance. It gives you a plus 10%. The best part about this is it only takes an hour and 13 of in-game time to build. The combat outpost only takes an hour and 13 minutes to build. So times four, that's only like 20 minutes. So if you come down, so that one does a boost. And then you got your field hospital. It does the same thing. Uh, it also gives you that 10% uh, morale performance. Okay, um, and you'll get that right off the bat. But if you see right here, it takes 11 hours. So 11 with the four, you're looking at two hours and 45 minutes, something around that range. Um, yeah, so that's a big difference. But if the field hospital has a purpose because it can also give you bon bonuses to healing your troops if you have troops sitting on it. So it really depends on where you guys want to base your tactics. Uh, so the other ones, this one, local industry, only boosts resources. And this one right here, uh, military logics, they only boost your speed. And the airfield, I use those all the time. I wish they boosted morale, but they don't. But they're really good on making your troops travel fast across this giant world. Um, so, yeah, that is the idea of morale. Um, you never, I want to point this out, see my, my feel. If I build, because my population is so high, I'm running a lot of feel. And if I ever go in the negative, if I go in the negative, you will automatically be hit with the negative 50 morale across all your cities and everything will start catching on fire and everything will start to fall. So you need to make sure that not any of your resources, any of them, go in the negatives. And if they do, the very first thing you need to do is spend every resource you can to get that resource back in the positive. And the way you do that is you would look at these little things. See, that's gas. You would go build and you go local industry and you would build those. Or you can go to the cities. If you, even if you don't own, like, you own this, but you can't build troops on it, but you can still build buildings on it. You would go to the building and you would build arms industry because that will boost the resource on the city 10%. That's a good way to get your stuff back in the positive or if you're extremely low to get you over a threshold so you can keep building and growing. So just keep that in mind. Um... I think that's about it on morale. When more comes about, I will send out an update video. I hope this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe. Follow us. We got a lot more stuff coming out. A lot more updates coming. They're also updating the games. So things will continue to change. Keep posted with my videos. And we will get through this together. And I will check you guys out next time.